Hi, I'd like to read to you today from Maddie West and the Tongue Taker. Maddie West can speak every language in the world. When she's asked to translate some ancient scrolls, Maddie is excited. But the scrolls hide many secrets, secrets that send Maddie on a wild adventure with a stowaway ninja, a mysterious monkey, a Bulgarian wrestler, and a fiendish witch. And soon, Maddie finds herself in deadly peril. Does Maddie have what it takes to save herself and her new friends? When Maddie started speaking Japanese, her mother took her to the doctor. The doctor was a gentle, grey-haired man with gold-rimmed glasses that made him look intelligent. Maddie liked the doctor immediately. So, what is the problem today? The doctor asked, smiling kindly at Maddie. She's speaking in foreign tongues, Maddie's mum said, but the word foreign had a strange ring to it, as though it brought a bad taste to her mouth when she said it. The doctor frowned and, for some reason, began to examine Maddie's ear. What kind of foreign tongues? he asked. There was no bad taste the way he said it. Japanese, Maddie's mum said. At least I think it was Japanese. It might have been Korean or Taiwanese or even Chinese. It had been Japanese, but this conversation seemed to be between her mum and the doctor, so Maddie didn't butt in to tell them so. So, you've been speaking a foreign language. The doctor raised an eyebrow at Maddie, then turned back to her mum. I don't quite understand. What do you want me to do? I want you to... Maddie's mum stopped. It was quite clear that she wasn't sure what she wanted the doctor to do. I want you to... to... to fix her. The doctor looked from Maddie to her mum and then back again. I don't think she's broken, he said. Maddie could have hugged him on the spot. Well, I want you to do something, Maddie's mum said. All right, the doctor said. I suppose we could run some tests. Tests, yes, good, yes, tests, Maddie's mum said. Would it be all right if I spoke to Maddie alone for a moment first? The doctor asked. Alone? Why? Maddie's mum narrowed her eyes. It made her look like a cat. Oh, I think it will help, the doctor said. Oh. Maddie's mum looked sideways at Maddie, but stood up. How long will it take? As long as it takes, the doctor said. Maddie's mum narrowed her eyes even further at the doctor. Maddie was starting to like him more and more. Maddie's mum walked over to the door, opened it, and left. The doctor stood and closed the door softly. What kind of tests? Maddie asked. Oh, there are no tests, the doctor said. I just said that so your mother would wait outside. I hope you don't mind. I thought that, Maddie said with a smile. And no, I don't mind. Now, the doctor sat on the corner of his desk and looked at her over the top of his spectacles. How old are you, Maddie? I'm nine, Maddie said, and a half. And a very important half it is, the doctor said. And you speak Japanese. Do you speak any other languages? I don't know, Maddie said. How many other languages are there? There are hundreds of them, the doctor said. Too many for any one person to know. I myself learned French at school and have a little smattering of Polish from my grandmother. I once knew a person who could speak five languages. Maddie wasn't really listening. She was visualising a smattering of Polish, which sounded like something that had once happened when she was helping her mum clean the dining table. Would you like to hear some French? the doctor asked. It's a beautiful language. Yes, I honestly would, Maddie replied. He chuckled. That's quite extraordinary, he said. What is? Maddie asked, convinced she was about to learn some great secret that only doctors knew. You are the doctor said. Maddie considered that. She wasn't sure if he was being nice or rude. What do you mean? she asked. Well, when I asked you if you would like to hear some French, the doctor said, I asked it in French. Maddie quickly thought back. Yes, the doctor had said, Est-ce que tu aimerais entendre un peu de français? So that was French. In fact, everything I said from then on was also in French, the doctor smiled. Wow, said Maddie. And you answered in French also, he said, and went to sit back in his chair, which puffed and wheezed as he did so. Maddie thought that the doctor should lose some weight, but also that a doctor would know that without having to be told by a nine-year-old girl. So she said nothing. 
Do you also speak Polish? The doctor asked, and from the sound of the words, Maddie guessed that this time he was speaking Polish. She answered using the same kind of words. I guess so, if this is it. Well, I never, the doctor said. He pushed a button on a small metal box on his desk. It answered with his nurse's voice, although it sounded distant and tinny. Gabby, would you come in here for a moment, please, he said. Certainly, doctor, the voice said. The door opened and the nurse entered. Yes, doctor, she said. Maddy, this is Mrs. Head, the doctor said. Mrs. Head, I seem to remember you telling me that you spoke Spanish. I learned it at school, and I practiced a little last year when we went on holiday to Mallorca, she said. Uh, would you mind practicing a little on Maddy, the doctor asked. I'd be happy to, Mrs. Head said. Does she speak Spanish? I think we're about to find out, the doctor said. Mrs. Head sat down on the chair next to Maddie, the one that her mum had been sitting on. Maddie thought she was pretty, with happy eyes, but used too much makeup. I am asking if speaking Spanish you thank you please, Mrs. Head said. Maddie laughed. Did you understand her? the doctor asked. A little, Maddie said. Interesting, the doctor said. Mrs. Head, would you please try again? Speaking the Spanish difficulty without language motor car, Mrs. Head said. Confidently. How about that time? the doctor asked Maddie. No, sorry, I couldn't understand her, Maddie said. Thank you, Mrs. Head, the doctor said. She rose and went back to her office. Japanese, French, Polish, but not Spanish. He made some notes in Maddie's file. Now that is very interesting. Actually, I think I do speak Spanish, Maddie said after the door to the office had shut. You do? I thought you said you didn't. Uh, what I said was, I couldn't understand Mrs. Head, Maddie said. I think I speak Spanish, but I don't really think that she does. The doctor chuckled again and made some changes to the notes in the file. What are we going to do with you, he asked. Maddie didn't know the answer to that question. Just then the door opened and Maddie's mum stood in the doorway. She did not look pleased. How are these tests going? she asked. Uh, very well, the doctor said. You have a charming and talented daughter. Humph, Maddie's mum said, which wasn't a word in any language that Maddie could understand, but her mum always seemed to say it when she was annoyed and didn't know what else to say. But it's not only Japanese that she speaks, the doctor said. She speaks another language? A lot. In fact, so far I haven't managed to find a language that she doesn't speak. But that's not right, is it, Maddie said. Can you do something about it? Uh, to be honest, I don't think there's a problem to solve, the doctor said. A talent like this could be very valuable. No, it's not natural. It's not, she seemed to catch her breath, valuable. I mean, in a useful kind of a way, the doctor said, but Maddie's mum didn't seem to have heard him. Valuable, she said again. Uh, no, I simply meant, the doctor began, but Maddie's mum walked over, took Maddie's hand, pulling her up out of the chair. Thank you, doctor, she said. How much for today? Uh, please see Mrs. Head on the way out, the doctor said. He was frowning. Maddie caught his eye and winked at him to let him know that everything would be all right. He broke into a grin and shook his head. What an extraordinary young lady, he said. Mm -hmm.